so now let's start uh, gauss elimination method implementation part in the c++ so our matrix is let me write the matrix first so our matrix is 2350 or we can start from the equation itself so the equation is 2x plus 3y plus 5z is equal to 0 0x plus 4y plus 2z is equal to 1 and 3x plus 1y plus 1z is equal to 11 so if you write in the augmented matrix form so it will be like this 2 0 three, three, four, one, five, two, one, and zero, one, eleven. So now in today's lecture, what will we will do? We will try to insert these coefficients in the augmented matrix variable. So we'll create the augmented matrix variable and try to enter. all those coefficients inside of that so let's start so here this is a c++ so that's why he has include i stream and has include math.h for doing any kinds of maths operation and i am using the names this std for c outs and c in and for all these things so first write the main function int main and here i will declare some variables so the variable is like first is float augmented matrix variable and let us initialize its size so i am uh, defining some macros here let us its size is 10 so i am defining the size of augmented matrix here you can change this 10 20 this is just for the initialization right and here so this is the first thing the second thing number of variables so number of variables is 3 so let's say number of variable is n and n is equal to 3 apart from that we will need some index so that is also i'm taking this i j k let's say so these are the index now how i am going to store these coefficients so if you see let's say total number of 
variables are n, so this matrix is n cross n. So if you see the i, let's say this is the i, i will vary from 1 to n. So this is the 1, 2, and like that if the number of uh, variables then it goes up to n. And what about the j? j is the column. If you see the column, j is 1 here, 2 here, and j is n here. But there is an additional column due to the augmentation. So j will vary up to n plus 1. So we will use the two for loop, the one for the i and inside of that for the j. And one by one, I'll, I'll uh, initialize those coefficients. So let me declare those two coefficients, uh, those two for loops. So first is i is equal to 1. I less than or equal to n I plus plus and inside of that another for loop for j j is equal to one j less than or equal to n plus 1 j plus plus and inside of that I take the coefficient which is given by the user So this is the strategy. I can print some uh, statements here. See out. Please for enter. Coefficient. A I J index. So in this way I take that values and I can verify it by printing the value of aij so i'm taking the uh, i'm copying this for loop again just to verify here i'll see out aij And I can print the masses here also. Or here. Your entered matrix is yes. 
index. So now let's uh, run the program and we'll see whether we can successfully uh, enter those coefficients or not. So first is the enter the coefficients a11. So let's this is the let me minimize this window. The enter the coefficient a11. So this is two. Enter the coefficient a12, three. Enter the coefficient a13, five. Enter the coefficient a140. Enter the coefficient a210. 2, 2, 4, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 1, 3, 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, and 3, 4, 11. So now your inter matrix is 2, 3, 5, 0, 0, 4, 2, 1. 1, 3, 11, uh, 1, 3, 1, 11. So it's not printing in separate, separate lines. So if you want to see in the separate lines, then so here you need to put indel so that after one row it will change the line. And here also you can give the space. So let's run again. Enter the coefficient a11. 2, 3, 5, 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, 2, 4, 2, 3, 2, 2, 4, 1, 3, 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, and 3, 4, 11. Now you can see your matrix, the augmented matrix is successfully entered. So this is the first step. Now in the second step, what do we do? We'll do uh, some operations so that uh, that matrix can be converted into the upper triangular matrix in the next lecture. Thank you.